I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Today we begin our second term by the grace and mercy of God who has kept us alive and well. We closed abruptly on the 16th of March when the government instructed us to stop holding large gatherings because of the spread of the worldwide pandemic COVID-19. At that time, we still had four topics, and the significance of prayer series that we had not completed. As your leader, I want to appreciate you for remaining focused during this difficult time and for engaging continually in prayer in our I4K WhatsApp. I have noticed many of you uh, turn up at midnight when we meet on WhatsApp to sound the shofar over the nation and indeed over the world. Those who have not engaged, I want to encourage you to endeavor to do so because this is a very, very powerful way, method of engaging in spiritual warfare. It is true that the devil has visited nations in order to steal, to kill, and destroy. And that is his nature. We share in the sorrow and pain that many families have suffered. Many individuals have suffered at this very difficult time because of the schemes of the devil. But our eyes must remain focused on the Lord and Jehovah is his name. It is only God who has this kind of power and sovereignty and majesty to shut down nations, to confine people in their homes, to close businesses, to close companies. It is only the Lord God who has such might and power to shut down airports, to shut down borders, and to confine nations like we have seen. During these unprecedented circumstances in our century, we must ask Jehovah what he wants us to learn from this. God is always speaking to his church through his word. But when he sees that he can't get our attention, then he begins to speak through events. He can use earthquakes, he can use hurricanes, he can use floods, he can use pestilences, he can use plagues, even a plague like COVID-19. Why? Because he loves us. He loves us so much that he knows that he must get our attention we must listen to him and we must hear what he wants to speak to us at this time. When we read the scriptures, especially those that refer to the end times, we read about warnings of difficult years ahead. We must therefore recognize that what we are going through right now is a rehearsal of worse things that are ahead of us. I believe through this shakeup, God is making us stronger and better prepared for greater trials and greater difficulties that must occur before the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God that he did not leave us ignorant because at the beginning of this year, he spoke to us and told us that 2020 was going to be a year of brooding. We may not have understood the depth and breadth of what he was saying, but on hindsight, we can now see clearly what the Lord was telling us. The government lockdown has forced us into our brooding stations. So make use of this opportunity to spend more time locked up with God in prayer and meditation so that you can grow in intimacy. Let the Lord speak to you about everything that he wants you to learn and let him teach you every lesson that he has for you. 
So by the grace of the Lord, we will resume our prayer training program on the 4th of May. If we are permitted to gather, then we will gather at the Good Shepherd Church from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. But if we are not permitted to gather, then we are going to run the prayer training program through YouTube. In May, we will teach the significance of garments in prayer warfare, the significance of trees in prayer warfare, the significance of waters in prayer warfare, and the significance of fire in prayer warfare. Please don't allow media challenges to block you from being part of these blessings. You must quickly adapt to using WhatsApp, Zoom, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Skype, as these are the present means available to us to continue socializing even as we maintain a physical distance from each other. Registration will begin on the 1st of May via M-Pesa, as projected on the screen. And we also want to appreciate those of you who have continued to support the ministry through April. And you have done this financially through M-Pesa, and some of you have used the bank-to-bank -bank cash transfers. We encourage you to keep supporting the Ministry of Intercessors for Kenya because this ministry remains crucial and critical during this difficult time that we are in. May the Lord enrich us as we fellowship together and learn what he has in store for us this term. Amen.